All right, what's going on guys? My name is Nick and this is kind of just uh, a PC update video for you guys. So as you can probably tell, we got the majority of the live stream PC built, but we did hit a little bit of a snag. Um, so we have to wait on one thing and the snag we hit is that one of the thumb screws for the H100, one of the four thumb screws that are used to fasten it to the CPU, uh, it actually broke. Uh, the reason it broke is because this one, this uh, H100 is actually the old one that I was using in my older build, not my older build, but my, my other build. Um, I upgraded that other one to a Corsair H100i, uh, so I guess enough torque numerous times uh, kindly finally destroyed one of the thumb screws and um, I actually have another Corsair H100 right there uh, so I could technically take the thumb screw out of that one and open it but I really didn't want to open a fresh uh, CPU cooler just for one thumb screw so what I did is that I ordered the mounting kit directly from Corsair from their site uh, the mounting kit came to like 16 bucks um, so yeah, <laughs> and while I was there also, I, I wasn't going to do this, I, I wasn't going to buy individual sleep cables just because if I was going to buy them, it would be the only time, thing I would be buying on the site at the time, and shipping rapes you to Canada, uh, but since I was buying the mounting kit anyways, I decided to pick up the individual sleep cables for the power supply. Um, individual sleep cables really do add a nice touch to your build, especially if you have a big cutout window. Uh, like the 600T does. Um, I have individual sleep, sleep cables on my uh, AX1200i and it looks pretty baller so yeah. Uh, in terms of the overall p build itself everything is fairly straightforward. Uh, mounting the H100 itself was very very tight as you can probably tell by that corner right there. I did not have much wiggle room between it and the actual motherboard. Um, you can't run it in push-pull like I would on the radiator, uh, like I have on my 800D build. Uh, but you can run it in pull. So those are the fans right there. Uh, these are the Air Series fans. These are um, <clears throat> these are not the stock fans. Uh, so they're the high static ones that run at low RPM, which are very very nice. Um, here's the just the it's kind of similar. But these, this isn't the high static one. This is just the air one um, for high airflow. Uh, the only difference being that the, that the blades aren't as thick and wide. Um, when you're using a radiator uh, fan, they, you want the the fans to be thicker and wider, just because it creates a nice solid static pressure. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> um, other than that, in the build, so. Uh, so yeah, individual sleep cables, it's good to get that done first anyways, if I ever plan to do it now, it's better now than later, later because if you upgrade your cables, you basically have to deconstruct your entire build um, to put the cables in, so it's nice that I'm doing it now. Um, the, probably the only cable I will not change is the 8-pin CPU uh, cable right there, uh, just because it was a real, real difficult process of trying to fit it in there just because of the limited uh, space uh, between the CPU and the radiator so I probably will just leave that one as the default one um, you really can't see it anyways it's in the corner over there so it won't make the biggest of deals in terms of the overall aesthetic appeal of a ca uh, individual sleep cable in that corner um, so we have the dominator memory here we have 16 gigabytes uh, which are pretty nice. Uh, Corsair did release a lighting kit for the Dominator Platinum series, so you can add extra lights to your RAM. Um, it was announced at CES, but they haven't put it on their story yet, and I kind of needed that mounting kit for the H100 right away, so I couldn't wait any longer. Um, overall, so we have the 3070-70K in there, um, the Z77 motherboard, uh, this motherboard, uh, in comparison to the other motherboards I've used, I've used the Maximus 4, the Maximus 5. Uh, this one is pretty, pretty self-explanatory to use. They have these like little fans that you attach. There's one right there. I, I don't know if you can see it. And then there's one right here. Um, so I, put, I installed those. Um, I really dig the 
the flat black look of this. I like how the PCB is completely protected and it looks just overall really nice. Uh, you can probably tell that I kind of went with a general theme with the build just from the fans and the GeForce GTX 680 and the, the Dominator. I went with like a black, white, and silver theme for the build. I'm really, I don't know, I really like color coordinating all the parts that I buy. Uh, if you see, ever see my other build, you'll notice I did the exact same thing with it. Um, and in terms of lighting, I have some LED, uh, Bit, Bit Phoenix Alchemy LED strips uh, that will be attached to the side panel in the case that once everything is powered up, it will make everything look nice and sexy. So, uh, the only thing that's not color coordinated, obviously, is the red <laughs> AX860i uh, power supply. There really wasn't anything I could do there. This is the power supply that I wanted to go with. I know it's not color coordinated with the general theme of the PC, but uh, there's only so much you can do as an individual. <laughs> so next we have um, we have the AverMedia Live Gamer HD right there, uh, which is the capture card that I plan to be live streaming with. And just in case I ever plan to do a little bit of recording on this PC as well, I installed my extra Black Magic Intensity Pro right there. And so we have. Uh, a WD black hard drive and underneath it is the OCC Vector SSD. Um, I'm just looking at it right now and these black cables are nicer than the default ones that you get with most power supplies but the 24 pin connector is just so so ugly when it's not individually sleeved but yeah we'll fix that when the sleeving kit comes. <laughs> But yeah, I think that's pretty much it with the build. Uh, a lot of people were wondering why I did not live stream the build. Uh, the reason why I did not live stream the build is because um, I kind of like building PCs as a home project and I find um, I just wanted a nice quiet thing to do by myself and not really worry about entertaining people. But yeah, that is the update to the build. My living room is a mess with PC parts as you can probably tell. Um, I expect to get the extra parts for the mounting kit of the H100 by the end of the week. So may or may not get a live streaming this weekend or may, maybe, maybe not. I don't know, depending on how, how quickly the lighting kit gets here and the sleeving kit. So once everything gets here, I throw everything in, um, make sure everything, power everything up, make sure everything works properly, and then I... Uh, give it some TLC with a little bit of proper cable management. So it's always nice to try to test everything out properly first before you do the cable management just in case something goes wrong. Yeah, but other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's kind of like a nerd thing uh, for PC builders, but I know a lot of you guys are PC enthusiasts like me and like seeing stuff like this, but yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Look forward to the live stream. Subscribe to the Twitch TV page if you haven't already for my live stream channel and have a fantastic day. All right, bye.